Hurricanes. They can decimate miles and miles of infrastructure, have winds of over 200 miles per hour, and be as large as entire countries. In this video, I'll be talking about the largest hurricanes, the most destructive, the longest lasting, and much more. The largest hurricane in recorded history was 1979 Typhoon Tip at an astonishing max width of 1,380 miles, or about half the width of the United States. It formed on October 4th, 1979, near Micronesia, where it would attract northwest, gaining strength as it passed by Guam. It would reach Category 5 strength on October 11th, where it had 1 minute sustained winds of a whopping 190 miles per hour and a record low pressure of 870 millibars. It hit the southwestern part of Japan on October 19th after weakening to a Category 2. Tip finally dissipated on October 24th near the Aleutian Islands. The storm caused 99 fatalities and $484 million in damages. The fastest one-minute sustained winds measured in a hurricane were from Category 5 Hurricane Patricia on October 12, 2015 off the western coast of Mexico. It had max winds of 215 miles per hour. The strongest wind gust, however, was from Category 4 Cyclone Olivia on April 10, 1996. Its highest winds were an incredible 253 miles per hour. More recently, earlier this year, on October 25, 2023, Category 5 Hurricane Otis had a wind gust of 205 miles per hour, making it one of the strongest hurricane wind gusts globally. The deadliest hurricane in world history was the 1970 Bola Cyclone, with a number of fatalities ranging from 300 to 500,000. The storm formed in the Bay of Bengal on November 8th. It traveled north-northeast while gaining strength and reached peak intensity on November 10th, with winds of 150 miles per hour. Two days later, on November 12th, the cyclone made landfall near Chittagong. Storm surges of up to 33 feet were recorded in the Ganges Delta, and the storm tide peaked at about 13 feet above the average sea level in Chittagong. If you look at a list of the top 10 deadliest tropical cyclones in the world since 1900, nine of them were in Bangladesh. This is due to the area being very densely populated and home infrastructure being rather poor. The record for costliest hurricane is a tie between 2005 Hurricane Katrina and 2017 Hurricane Harvey at $125 billion. Katrina was rated Category 5 with peak winds of 175 miles per hour. It impacted Louisiana at Category 3 strength, causing immense and widespread damage. One reason the damage was so bad was because the levees failed, causing many areas in and around New Orleans to be flooded for weeks. Hurricane Harvey was rated Category 4 with peak winds of 130 miles per hour and made landfall in southeastern Texas at peak intensity on August 17th. Harvey hit a largely populated area, dumping around 4 feet of rain, the national record for rain from a single tropical storm, onto Houston, which has the 5th largest metro area population in the U.S. at over 7 million people. 2020 had the most tropical storms, at 30, but 2005 had the most actual hurricanes, which is any tropical cyclone with winds of over 74 miles per hour, at 15. Both years had eight major hurricanes, which is any hurricane with winds of 111 miles per hour or greater. Both years had so many hurricanes that they had to start using the Greek alphabet to name the storms. These years are the only time it has been used. The longest lasting tropical cyclone on record is 2023 Category 5 Cyclone Freddy, lasting five weeks and two days. It formed to the north of Western Australia on February 5th and traveled to the west while gaining strength, reaching peak intensity of 165 miles per hour on February 19th. It impacted Mauritius, Madagascar, Mozambique, Zimbabwe, Malawi, South Africa, Eswatini, and Zambia, resulting in 1,143 fatalities and $655 million in damages. It dissipated on March 14th over Mozambique after traveling around 4,970 miles. Sorry if I don't upload for a bit. I'm currently working on a very in-depth video about the 2007 Greensburg tornado, so I can't really work on too much else in the meantime. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please consider subscribing so you can learn more about weather phenomena on my channel.